Have you noticed the Files app in your launcher, but heard a rumor that you can't store files on a Chromebook? Well, I'm here to say that most of those rumors are only false-ish. The Files app gives you quick access to all the files you've stored on your Chromebook. This tutorial will show you how to do it. So let's start with the Files app itself. You can open the app by clicking the Apps List button in the launcher and then clicking the Files icon, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Alt-Shift-M, or if you have dragged it to your shelf, you can click it from there. Not only will the Files app give you quick access to the files you've stored on your Chromebook, it'll also give you access to those you've stored on the web through your Google Drive. You can also use it to open files that you've saved on an external storage device, like a flash drive, that you have connected to your Chromebook. We'll revisit this some more after we have saved some files, but I wanted you to see what it looks like when you're in there. When you're looking at my Downloads folder, you'll notice that I can either view my files in a list form or, using my settings cog, change it to a tile view. This is really handy when I can't remember what the images that I've already saved look like. You can learn from my mistake here and be a smarter saver. When you're naming your files, save them as something you'll remember. Now there's lots of files and reasons to save. For the purpose of our tutorial, I'm going to focus in on images and PDF files. PDFs are viewable, but not necessarily editable documents. Since we're starting with images, I'm going to go ahead and launch the camera app from my launch pad. This will activate your webcam and you can use this to point it at anything you want to record. Now this might be a student taking a picture of himself for a project or a goofy technology integration specialist taking a picture of herself for a tutorial, but it could be your entire class. I'll revisit some ways to edit these images in another tutorial. But for today, let's just focus on saving. After you've taken your picture, a box will open that will give you the option to either save or trash your picture. Clicking Save will give you an option of where you want to save it. You can either save it to your Google Drive or in your Downloads folder. For now, I'm going to save this into my Downloads folder. I'm going to be smart and rename it Anne and click Save. So here I will close out of this window, go back to my desktop and relaunch my file folder so you can see what it looks like. As soon as the window opens, you can see my image, along with some of the others I've saved, there in my Downloads folder. Let's take a look at another way to save images. Let's say you're on a really great website and you find an image that you need to save for a report or a project or something like that. Now, of course, you need to be aware of copyrighted images, but since this is our photograph, this is a good place to demonstrate. I can save this image by either hovering over it and clicking while I hold down the control key, or I can use the two finger click method. Two finger clicking on a Chromebook is just like a right click on a two button mouse. Once the save menu appears, you can save it either again to your Google Drive or to your downloads folder. Be sure to name it something that you'll remember and click save. You can see every time I do this that a bar will appear at the bottom of my screen indicating that I've done a download. You can ignore this, you can close it, or you can open it to see everything that you've downloaded. I'm just going to close it for now. We're going to move on to PDFs, another handy type of file you may want to save. If you go to the BPS Technology Integration Specialist website, you'll find a lot of printable guides and tutorials that are saved in PDF or Google Drive format. Your Chromebook came with the built-in PDF viewer, so when you click on a document, this viewer will appear, allowing you to see the document. It takes just a second to load, but eventually your document will appear along with a menu on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Chromebook keyboard cheats would be a really handy tool for you to save. Clicking on the image of the disk in that menu will bring up your familiar save window where you can either save it to your Google Drive or your downloads folder. Here, the document was kindly already named for you. All you have to do is click Save. The download bar will pop up again at the bottom of your screen to indicate that it's saving the file. Now some important things to point out. You can save files to your Chromebook. However, your Chromebook was not made to be a storage device. It only has about 16 gigabytes of memory. This might sound like a lot, but it will fill up quickly. This is where having an external storage device, like a flash drive, can be really handy. You can save to and pull from a USB by plugging it in the back. Here's what will happen when you plug your device in. 
Over in the column on the left side, you'll see that a new icon appears indicating that I've plugged in my USB. If I click on it, you can see all of the files that I have stored on my USB drive. In this case, we don't remember what this image looks like because I saved it clear back in September of 2011. So I'm going to go into my options, which is the little cog up in the upper right hand corner of my screen, and change my view from list view to tile view. Here I'll be able to see that it was a banner for my blog. I want to move this from my USB to my downloads folder. I just drag it in there, and there it is. We'll address how to manage your files in another tutorial. I'll also show you how to take a screenshot, a really valuable tool, and to edit your images once you have them saved. But for now, just try your hand at saving a few files and see how it goes and where they go. For more information and ideas on how to use your Chromebook or to access our printable guides, visit us at bpstis.org. You'll find lots more resources just like this one produced by your Billings Public Schools Technology Integration Specialists.